Come on, Saba YouTube. Danny here with Cajun Hydroponics, boy. I was about to give up on YouTube and everything, even the dragon fruit. But check it out. We're gonna do a little walk by just to show you some of the dragon fruit. Then we're gonna come back and point out the uh, the specific varieties we have with the uh, with flowers on them been doing a lot of pruning you can see I was about to give up because this right here that all died from the the Arctic front we had there's some of them that you know have some issues and all that good stuff lost about 10 plants total here's another one it broke but it's pretty amazing they're still growing you know they're, they're still trying to make it it's really hardy um, I've been working on pruning them and tying them up correctly the last couple days and it's been it's been doing I was using these pieces of rag or towels that I had cut and they stretched they're, they're not that good so I started using some baling twine that I had tying them up what you want to do with the dragon fruit you want them to come up you want them to come up and go to the top we're gonna do another video talking about the pieces on the top what they're for but uh yeah what what i've been doing is work family time not a whole bunch of mu much else i haven't been watching many youtube videos or you know participating in much youtube oh check it out boy that's new hadn't noticed that one that's another bud um Kind of got overwhelmed, you know, so many great people watching my videos and commenting and everything and so many people in the Shed Wars community um, being gracious and watching the videos and I just didn't feel right. I didn't have time to watch videos or time to comment or, or time to, you know, reciprocate the, the gratitude that... You know, I feel everyone deserves. If they're gonna take time to watch my videos, I need to have time to watch theirs. So, kind of just took a break from YouTube. Um, tonight, we will. I will be um, doing a live stream with Miss Courtney from Wide Family Farms. I will put a link in the description. I think it's at eight or eight thirty Central, nine or nine thirty eastern um so that oh and if you haven't had a chance go check out the big big blue house homestead she i'll put a, a link to that video in the bottom also oh my god she is so funny she she catches me to the t but let's start on this this was the fruit that we posted on the community tab a couple weeks ago my queen pollinated it and it looks like it took you can see the the red coloring and that's a pretty good sign so it also happened to be the exact day that the flower budded last year so we will be waiting till around september 11th which was the day we picked it last year and we don't know the name of it this was given to me it was a variety from lowell's and the actual variety the name that it said is not the same of what the fruit turned out to be so you know we're excited it's really good the flower on this one is a natural mystic it's supposed to be really good really good that's a new one. Everyone besides the first one I showed you is gonna be a new one. We actually have three buds on the Natural Mystics. We ended up having two different pots planted with it. Um, I got a cutting from someone and then the other one came from Mr. Ty over at Spicy Exotics. <clears throat> this is a Purple Haze. It's another new one. In the middle of all this, we got a botheration. Yeah, right. Seen me doing a video and I had to come stick herself over here. My beautiful queen. Let's get back. 
So, the one back here is another Maui dragon. Okay, so we have two Maui dragons. We have some bud, not that kind of bud, y'all. But we have some buds on, this is a Connie Mar. And then here's another bud that came out. That's the one I showed you a little bit earlier in the video. Super excited about those. Oh boy. Way more than we've ever ended up with. Natural Mystic. Some beautiful flowers, beautiful buds. And then all the way at the end, we have a double. And this is just called a K1. Got this from Mr. Ty over at Spicy Exotics also. Most of the plants I have come from Mr. Ty. He's uh, pretty local, a few miles north of me, about 30 miles north. Um, for the most part, I neglected them bad. You know, one of the tips with Shed Wars is, or a tip I want to share, is, you know, you always think you have enough time. But I can honestly tell you, pot and knees and, and everything take way more time than I expected. The, uh, the amount of upkeep on them, the moving and, and everything takes a lot. You know, with the, with the five-year-old, with the little dude, um, some days he's like, go to work. Other days he's like, mm -mm, stop, come on, it's time to play. So we stop and play. We are, you know, managing well. And um, the main thing with the dragon fruits is you want them to grow up. You want them to follow the pipe and then come out the umbrella. Uh, so that's, that's what I'm working on doing now, trying to train them to go up, taking the other cuttings, putting them in water to root. We'll do a video on that coming up soon. Um, we want four, four plants, four cuttings per bucket. Most of them only have one or two. But um, that's that's what we're looking to get done. You know, I hope to continue doing the videos. It's fun. I enjoy it. Um, just have a lot going on. I think we're somewhere as around. 13 or 1400 pounds of tomatoes we ended up getting out of the greenhouses this year and we shut it down early uh, do an up, update on those tomorrow but uh for the most part you know just been working trying to maintain and, and get a few steps ahead that's the big thing getting a few steps ahead every day uh, the depressed that I, I thought i had lost all my dragon fruit Super excited to have so many new flowers and and potentially um, new dragon fruit to try this year. Really excited. So, South Louisiana, boy, you got to love it. It's hot. Feel like I'm melting already. Y'all grow that. Later.